When an individual feels a need to get counseling for themselves, there are only two options available to them, either individual psychotherapy or group psychotherapy. Studies have shown that both are equally effective in terms of their therapeutic outcome. However, studies have also shown that people have a very, very strong preference for individual over group psychotherapy. One study that I'm familiar with, which involved college students, was that at the college counseling center where they went to seek counseling for themselves, they were divided in, into two groups. One group was told that they were going into individual therapy, while the other group was told that they were going into group psychotherapy. Those who were told that they were going into individual psychotherapy had a very, very high percentage of them actually show up for the first appointment. Whereas those who were told that they were going into group, very few, percentage-wise, actually showed up for the first appointment. This is explained by the fact that groups are very anxiety-provoking. The number one question on people's minds as they enter a group is, will they, the other group members, accept me? Dr. Irving Yalom, who is one of the country's leading experts on groups, and has written extensively on groups, is such a firm believer in groups that when he was the head of a college counseling center, he didn't offer people a choice. People, students who came to the counseling center were told that they were going into group psychotherapy and that was all that was offered to them. Groups have been shown to be very beneficial and one of the benefits of a group as opposed to individual psychotherapy, is that an individual in a group, and groups are generally comprised of between five and ten individuals, an individual in group psychotherapy receives feedback from more people than they would if they were in individual psychotherapy, where the only feedback coming to them is the feedback from the mental health professional. A second benefit of group is, is that the feedback that comes to an individual in group is coming from a peer. And this is not true in individual psychotherapy, where the feedback is coming from a mental health professional. It has been shown that people are more readily acceptable of feedback when it comes from people that they perceive to be equal to, the, to themselves, that is, peers. Dr. Yellum has also identified several what he refers to as therapeutic factors that operate in a group. And I'm just going to mention several of them here because they'll be the subject of later videos. One of the therapeutic factors is that groups instill hope. Another therapeutic factor is that groups impart information. People learn from one another. For example, a person who has difficulty with his or her anger in a group sees an individual who is very assertive and can get his or her needs met by being assertive. So the individual who can only get their needs met in outbursts of anger or by yelling and shouting and insulting people learns another way of relating, a way that's much, much more effective. Also in groups, people feel less isolated and less alone this obviously would not occur in individual psychotherapy. So those are some of the therapeutic effects that have been identified by Dr. Yellen. And as I said, we'll go into more detail about them and other therapeutic effects in the videos to come.